Eh, ahora damos la bienvenida a gente a Persona Diana Rodríguez con su presentación Fan Fiction, Fan Fiction as a Motivational Tool for Vocabulary Acquisition in English as a Foreign Language. Un aplauso. Okay, um, thank you very much for being here. Um, well, this research project is called The Use of Fan Fiction as a Motivational Tool for Vocabulary for vocabulary acquisition in English as a foreign language. And uh, it is a research I made last year for Britain Discourse. So I realized that it was going to be a long and complex work. So I looked for a topic that was interesting for me too. And believe me, if I hadn't been so engaged with it, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so um, then for the same reason, motivation came to my mind. Uh, motivation is a fundamental when learning another language. Uh, a linguistic is defined as the combination of learner's attitudes, desires, and willingness to expend effort in order to learn the second language. Um, one of the most popular classification is internal and external motivations by Brown. And the internal is doing something because you want to do it or because you have made it, uh, you, you have made your own choice to do it. Um, so, in that sense, rewards are not needed. On the, on the other hand, external motivation is, means that one is influenced by others, such as teachers or school requirements, which push him or her to do something. He normally uh, needs to receive rewards, like high grades on press. So, the latter form is, of motivation is persuaded by a reward. Here it came the question of how could be this applied uh, in an area that demonstrated a certain degree of learning. And after considering several possible tools, uh, the idea of fan fiction came to my mind. Uh, if some of you don't know, fan fictions are fictional works that are original, but at the same time uh, are based on forms of popular media, such as uh, movies, series, music, novels, uh, video games, and almost on um, internet, etc. So I found that fan fictions were, could be use, uh, useful for the following reasons. Uh, it's written format. Uh, because um, reading is easier for beginners rather than listening. Uh, the extension of them, uh, because they can go from, I don't know, 100 words uh, to an uh, infinite number of chapters. Uh, the genre also, because they can, they can contain horror, uh, humor, romance, drama, etc. Um, also the topic, as it was said, they cover a wide range of popular media, so it is a choice of the reader. And also the authors, uh, because they are created by common fans, so when reaching an intermediate or advanced level of proficiency, learners can be encouraged to create fan fictions by themselves. Uh, related to this last point, I looked for previous literature and found out uh, there were certain works related to fan fictions and in, sorry, related to L2 acquisition. Um, and they were carried out mainly by Rebecca Black. Not that Rebecca Black of the <laughs> Friday song. <laughs> Just that, uh, no, she's one of the main researchers of this topic. Uh, but most of them were related to fan fictions and culture or identity and to the creation of text rather than reception skills. So I thought that an initial step uh, in this process was needed for beginners. In this case, a recognition of unknown words. Uh, because in order to produce one's own text, uh, first we need a wider knowledge of vocabulary. So uh, the main research question here is how effective are fan fictions and motivation for vocabulary acquisition in English as a foreign language students? Um, and the procedures, um, there were two groups needed. Um, one where people had to read an unknown, unknown and not so appealing text, and in the second one uh, they should read a more attractive text, in this case a fan fiction with interesting characters and plot, and in order to that this that this group read the same the same text, I contact a group of friends and acquaintances that like a Korean pop band, so the story will be based on that. 
Uh, and at the end, the participants were 10 in total, uh, uh, five for each group, and all girls between 18 and 26 years old. And in order to have a similar level, none of them was student of English. Um, the procedures. The first part, um, the, sorry. The fan fiction was selected due to uh, vocabulary and pre to its vocabulary for pre intermediate students and also because of its humorous tone, so I could assure that they would enjoy it. And basically, the story was about the band members uh, getting superpowers suddenly, so they were involved in ridiculous situations. In order to, have same, to obtain the same or some similar words, um, uh, of the of the words that appear in the in the first text, the second text was chosen according to the previous one, and at the end I chose a medieval role play story, where the characters were involved in fights and different encounters. Uh, I I also made sure that those participants were not used nor fond of these stories. Um, so the procedures, uh, the first part. Uh, they had to read this, the text assigned and select the first 10 unknown words um, uh, for them, but from a specific point of the story. So this way they could have a small previous context of the story before starting to look for those unknown words. Then they had to write the, those words and translate them. Uh, then they gave me the words and their translations. And finally, they had to do a, just a mental revision of the words. Um, the second part was carried out uh, in five or six days later. And I just gave them the, those words back uh, in, in isolation. And they had to remember the translation. So the results. Um, we had some examples here. Um, so we have the, the word, the original word, uh, context translation, the first translation of the participant, and the second uh, translation. So uh, this is one of the best results of the non-fanfiction group. And here is another one. Um, okay. So there, there were two participants in the non-fanfiction group who reached the 10 correct answers. Um, in the fan fiction group, um, well, something similar. In these groups, uh, just one, the first one, just one of them reached uh, 9 out of 10. Um, the average of correct answers in the role play group, in the first group, was, um, no, sorry. The average of the first one was, the non fiction group was um, 6.8 and the fan fiction group was 6.4 so um, as you can see here sorry again um, this group was more homogeneous than the other one and um, also considering, well, without considering the, the three participants who got all the answers right, or almost, of, almost all of them, the average of the rest of the participants in the non fiction group was 4.7 and in the fan fiction group was 5.8. Uh, all of the participants were encouraged to at least provide, try to provide an answer. So in the non fiction group, there were three correct answers that got guessed. And most of the girls did not care too much about the category, nor the, um, of the listicle units. They need neither pay too much attention to the tense, uh, person, or number in case of the verbs. And in general, the verbs were translated as their respective nouns. For example, wailing translated as aullido instead of uh, aullando or gimiendo. Just one of the participants, uh, who was in the fan fiction group, uh, gave more precise translations. In four cases, participants didn't consider the context when translating a word that had several meanings. For example, beamed, 
uh, was translated as vigas instead of transmitido or transmitió. Um, the most repeated words were fallenly and lurking with seven times, the former remember uh, six times, and the latter just three. Um, so, in broad terms, the results were not conclusive. From the total of 50 words, the non-fanfiction group had two right answers more than the fanfiction group. So there is no categorical difference in the number of words remembered by both groups. Uh, most of the girls in both groups said that they remember the translation because the word was weird and they had never seen it before. In one case, the participant said that she remembered the word fondly uh, because she misspelled it several times. And another, another one, uh, also from the fanfiction group, said that she remembered the word death fans because uh, it was related to a feature of one of the characters. The characters. Uh, so it was funny for her to, for, because it reflected, reflected his personality. In general, uh, the participants of the fanfiction group gave more details concerning the techniques they used to remember words. So uh, fanfiction was effective indeed, but no different from a different uh, type of, of text. The recalled words of bo both groups have a characteristic in common, which is how weird they were uh, looked for the participants. But also the technique they as of associating the word to a particular character or a funny situation was uh, pretty effective. Uh, limitations of this, this research uh, was time and number of participants. A higher number of people would be ideal for this research. And also probably with a longer period between the first and the second uh, stages of the exercise would have been more noticeable uh, in, in terms of results. Um, so that was basically my research. But um, some weeks ago, I remember, I remember this last idea of the, the time. And I thought, what if I return to, to this research and ask the, those girls again? And it was almost a year ago, uh, one month, uh, 11 months. So uh, the challenge was bigger. But I did it, and the same process, but uh, this time the, the same words were put inside a small context uh, with the same sentences of the fan fiction and the role play story. And this time, um, well, we, ha we have some of the results here, the same participants of the same, the previous uh, slide uh, had reduced her um, correct answers and the other same participant just keep pretty similar. So, um, this time the average of correct words in the non-fanfiction group lowered from 6.5, oh, it is, I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there. Um, went from 6.8 6 to 3.8. Uh, the, on the other side, the score in the fan fiction group went from 6.4 to 5.8. Uh, so obviously, of all of the results diminished, except for the last participant, on the table. Um, so, um, the girls were asked if they keep reading in English or not, and this last participant uh, said that she keeps reading a lot, uh, especially fanfics, uh, apart from watching some streaming and stuff. But curiously, she said that in her, readings, in her reading, readings, she hasn't found the same words. Uh, another special case was a participant that uh, when I asked her for help, she apologized in advance uh, because she had left, left English aside. And she said she, she said she had a terrible memory, but she obtained the best course in fanfiction group both times. Um, in the non-fanfiction group, uh, the opposite situation uh, happened with uh, another participant. She also left English aside, but she was less used to English text, so she only remembered one word. Uh, the participant, the first participant who read, reached one of the best scores in the first group, 
uh, also read less but watches more action series, so she relates some words from that. Um, the frequency of the readings or the input uh, in English the girls have had during this long period didn't affect too much the score, but it varies uh, because it varies in both groups, but it helps when more frequent. frequent. This time the results are more different. Uh, summarizing, there is no big difference between different types of text in a short period of time, but uh, almost one year later, the meaning of the words were not forgotten uh, over the time when reading a film fiction. So that was my investigation. Thank you very much, and I hope you liked it. porque de literatura previa no había mucho en cuanto a, a recepción, sino que más producción. Pero probando, eh, fue harto tiempo de, de, de pensar cómo, qué aspecto se podía eh, estudiar y cómo se podía estudiar. Y más que nada, como también era un, un informe para la profe de Carmen o la profe de, de discurso escrito, que eh, consulté a ella también y ella fue ayudando un, un poquito con el proceso. Hoy ella me dio más o menos el, el tiempo de, de diferencia entre un, un proceso y otro como para que ellos fueran capaces de retener algunas palabras. Y considerando que las palabras estaban sueltas, digo. Y bueno, lo de, lo de la idea de que esto lo hice hace muy poco, la, la segunda parte, eh, salió de la nada porque me quedé con esa duda, ¿qué hubiera pasado si hubiera pasado un poco más de tiempo? Me, pero pasó mucho más tiempo y en realidad, bueno, los resultados estaban mucho más claros. Por eso. No, gracias. Gracias. Hola, gracias. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. Cuando seleccionaste a los sujetos de la primera vez que hiciste, cuando recién los seleccionaste, ¿Tuviste en cuenta el factor de si ellos leían regularmente en inglés o ah, si sí. es que leían fictions en inglés? Sí, sí lo consideré. Eh, bueno, igualmente habían algunas que leían un poco más que otras, pero sí, el grupo que, que, que puso a prueba con los fanfictions eh, leían regularmente fanfictions. Eh, eh, lo que pasó, por ejemplo, en, ahora en la última etapa me pasó con, con la chica esta que, que obtuvo el mejor resultado con los fanfictions que ya había dejado de leer mucho por la U, pero igualmente eh, no se olvidó de las palabras. Y el otro grupo que leyó la otra historia también estaba más o menos acostumbrado a, a leer, algunos un poco más que otros. Y claro, que eso es lo que no sé si a lo mejor también tiene una opinión, pero uh -huh. que el grupo que es que no lee, o sea, que, que le pusiste a, a no leer el contexto, puede que también se haya contaminado un poco el resultado si ellos leían comúnmente el inglés en su tiempo libre. Claro. Sí. Donde se recortaban los vocabularios, uh -huh. porque pueden haberse contado con el mismo. Claro. No, en general era más o menos parecido. Las chicas de los fanfiction eran un, leían un poquito más. Eh, pero en, el, en este periodo del, de, esto, de este casi año completo que pasó, variaron totalmente. Por ejemplo, habían unas que leían un poco menos, pero veían alguna otra serie. Cosas así. Una, por ejemplo, la, esa chica que dejó de leer mucho, pero igualmente recordó muchas de las palabras. Otras chicas que también pues, seguían leyendo, la mayoría seguía leyendo, pero tuvieron como un promedio, como cinco, seis. Trataba de hacerlo lo, lo más parecido posible. <risa> 